Back in September, the FDA issued a 60-day notice for e-cigarette brands, and that time is finally up. The rate of teen smoking has skyrocketed and the FDA says it will not allow a younger generation to become addicted to nicotine for the benefit of cigarette smokers. While the effects of vaping in teens is widely unknown, Dr Jessica Kulak says more. So the health effects of e-cigarettes long term are unknown, but one thing that's for sure is they create people who are addicted to nicotine. Vaping is like safer than... Vaping is safe... Advertisements like this one, which talk about vaping, are now playing during ad breaks of popular CW shows, which are aimed at people like Gina's cousin. I have a younger cousin, she's 13, and I know that she has one, and that's like, you know, how does a kid get their hands on something like that? The FDA's push to transition adult smokers of combustible products has come at the price of a trendy new device. Devonte says it's so much easier to smoke now, but it's not any better. I think a lot of people as well get turned off by the smell of a cigarette and they're really self-conscious about it. So they think if I don't smoke a cigarette and I smoke a Juul or an e-cigarette, then the smell won't be there, but the physical effects are still there. While the creators of Juul were trying to create a solution to a public health epidemic, they accidentally created a new one. This is Nicole Ciccone for the Buffalo Review.